DIY. It means do it yourself. So, so let's, let's make, make it. it. Hello, my name is Maddie and welcome to Kids DIY. Did you know that DIY stands for do it yourself? Today we're making bunny pots. This one here has big rabbit ears, googly eyes and a red fluffy pom-pom tail. But you could make any animal you like. We've got a baby chick here. We've used some pipe cleaners for its feathers, an orange paper beak and little pom-poms for the wings. Let's take a look at what the DIY team has got for us today. Pots. Cool. In today's trolley, we've got our pot, some paint brushes and sponges, some fluffy pom poms and googly eyes, there's some pipe cleaners, coloured foam paper, and also some paint. It's everything you could need to make your bunny pot. Are you excited to make a bunny pot? Great, I'm going to show you how you can do it yourself. That must be our DIY team. Come in! Measuring tape. Wow! Hi team. Hi. Come on, take a seat. My name's Maddie. What are your names? Roman. Roman. My name's Eva. Eva. What's Bella. Your name? Bella. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for being in my DIY team today. We're going to make bunny pots. Have you ever made a bunny pot? No. No. We can decorate them however we like. So there's googly eyes and a love heart nose on mine and I've got a red fluffy pom-pom tail. What can you see in my bunny pot that you like? I like the ears. I like the little like cheeks. The cheeks. What sort of craft supplies can you see that you think you're going to use with your bunny? I think the googly eyes. Mm -hmm. Of the big furry fluffy tail. Mm -hmm. I like the textures. The textures? All right, DIY team, it's time to bring our bunny pots to life. We've already got a base coat on our pots, like this one, but you can add colour to make it fun. Let's get started. Mix it, paint it, don't forget to decorate it. Now we're going to move on to our bunny ears. They're very important. We've made them with foam paper. Feel how squishy it is. So if you'd each like to grab a piece of foam paper. So we'll have to cut four ears. So one, two, three, four. That's the way, fold it, cut it. Now you've got it. Next, we're going to use our PVA glue to stick our bunny ears onto our decorated bunny pots. Where do you think the bunny ears will go if you had them on your head? Like this. Now that we've stuck on our ears, we're going to get creative with the bunny face. You can use some paint or markers to do eyes and a big smiley face, or we could get really cool and put some googly eyes on there. And if you really want to jazz up your bunny pot, you can add some sparkle and shine or even a bunny tail. You're nearly there, just glue it, stick it, that's how you do it. Eva, can you tell me a little bit about the bunny pot that you've made today? So my bunny's name is Eddie. I used some stickers and, and like I drew some a mouth on the foam. My name for my bunny pop is Bowie 
and I chose Bowie because it has a bow tie here with the two black dots are, and I did a line of stars. My bunny is called a rainbow and I used these things as a headband. The diamantes on the front are like a pretty headband, are they? Did we have fun making bunny pots today? Yeah. yeah. I hope you've had so much fun making your bunny pots at home today. Thanks for being my DIY team. Wow, what cute bunny pots we've made today. This one's mine, Sir Hops A Lot. Here we've got rainbow bunny pot with big red tall ears and a rainbow headband. Here we've got Bowie. Bowie has a bow tie on the front and a fluffy red tail at the back. And this one here is Eddie bunny pot. Eddie has a very detailed mouth and a floppy ear too. Each of our DIY team has created something truly special and unique. Just remember, with Kids DIY, Make it classic, give it a try. I hope you had fun too. Until next time, what other animals could you make with a pot? Bye for now. DIY means do it yourself. So, so let's, let's make, make it. it.